The St. Nicholas Abbey. Neither an abbey nor a tribute to the jolly old man. So why is it special? For one, it's old, built in 1658. One of the trees on the property is 400 years old and still going strong. The main house is an example of Jacobean architecture, one of only three remaining houses in the entire Western Hemisphere built in this style. The house is generally well-preserved. On the side of the house is a medieval herb garden that came with the original estate design plans. The outdoor bathhouse and outhouse are still present and fully operational. Just kidding. Don't try to take a bath in there. The second and third floors are off limits due to safety concerns. And to be honest, I think the tour presentation of the house really suffers from not being able to visit the upper floors. Although to their credit, the tour guides did a good job with what they could present. This house, we have not one, but two fireplaces. Not sure if anyone noticed it's outside it's pretty hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot. <laughs> so there's absolutely no need for a fireplace. But the plants that built this house came from England, so they built it anyway. <laughs> now you're also going to see several pieces inside this room here. This is our drawing room. Now most of them are dating back to the 1800s, but unfortunately not much inside the house is original. The only thing original is the walls and the roof beams. The real value in visiting this place to me lies outside, not inside. Behind the house is the Terrace Cafe, which overlooks a thick tropical gully dominated by soaring trees and chirping birds. The surrounding grounds are well maintained. The old brick paths cutting through neatly trimmed grass as palm trees dot the area creates a nice, quiet, peaceful environment. The whole place has a historic yet polished vibe to it as you walk around. Nothing represents that historic yet polished description as well as the St. Nicholas Abbey Heritage Rail, which they abbreviate as SNAR. It's not a great sounding acronym, is it? The SNAR. Anyway, it's a steam engine that fully runs on coal and wood. It takes a short ride to Cherry Tree Hill, which is a famous lookout point 850 feet above sea level. The view overlooks the Scotland area of Barbados on the east coast. Lastly, but most notably, St. Nicholas Abbey is known for its rum production. It is one of four distilleries in Barbados. The 400-acre estate still grows the sugar cane for their rum production, as they have for hundreds of years. As an homage to the older ways, they employ a traditional pot still method with a pot still named Annabelle. And perhaps best of all, they offer free rum tasting. I made sure to have a taste when I visited, and while I'm no expert on rum, I liked it. Did I enjoy it enough to buy a bottle for myself? Well, my rum palate is not developed enough to fully appreciate the premium product they make here, but I still have more time in Barbados to fix that. Maybe that will be a video for another day. <laughs>